Yesterday, my husband and I were at the Tampa International Airport heading home to Connecticut. So we are in the line for the TSA. He's in one line here. I'm in one line here. And the TSA agent calls me up. He's like, can I get your ID and your boarding pass? And I'm like, here you go, right? So he goes to scan my ID and it comes up as error, right? He scans my ID again. It comes up as error. Now my anxiety is fucking kicking in. And I'm like, give me my ID, shit. <laughs> Try it again. And he's like, and he tries it again and it says error. And I said, okay, what am I supposed to do now? He goes, you need to go back to the JetBlue ticketing desk and see if they can fix this error. I'm like, oh shit, now my anxiety is at a level 30, honey. You hear me? And Mark is already past TSA and I hear him go, I'm with him! I'm with him! So now we're both speed walking back to the JetBlue ticketing desk, honey. And as we're walking, I come across a woman in a fucking electric scooter trying to get in the elevator and taking forever, honey. I just, I just leapt right over her, right into the elevator, honey, and the doors were closing. I said, there's nothing I can do. I'm so sorry. Right? So I'm sitting there. I'll ask for forgiveness when I get on a goddamn plane, honey, on my way home. But for right now, it's every man for themselves. I get down to the ticketing desk and I cut the line, honey. I said, I am so sorry. My flight leaves in 15 minutes. I refuse to be stranded here. And the lady looks at me. She goes, let me see your ID and your boarding pass. I said, here you go. Now this woman wants to take her goddamn time, honey. Just... Well, Mr. Calderon, it looks like here we have your birthday listed as 10-26-84. I said, my birthday is 10-24-84. I said, my birthday is 10 20 Well, sir, we have 10-26-84. And I don't know what came over me. Now my anxiety is at like a level fucking 50, okay? I don't know what came over me, but I called my mother. I called my mother. I don't know why, but it felt like the right thing to do. I put her on speaker. I was like, Mom, I'm going to get stranded here. I have no other way to get home. They're saying that my birthday is 10-26-84, and, I said, and my mom cut me off. She goes, no, ma'am, listen, his birthday is 10-24-84, and I should know because I was in 12 hours of labor, and he broke my hoo-ha. I hung up on her, honey. There was no reason for you to talk about your hoo-ha. So she fixed it. The lady at the, t the tickling desk, she fixed it. We get back to the TSA, honey. Now I'm in line, and I'm terrified. We, Mark, I'm quiet, okay, I'm quiet at this point, and Mark is sitting over here, he goes, oh my god, he goes, oh my god, he's like, oh shit, I'm about to have a bitch fit, I'm about to have a bitch fit, I'm like, just calm down, just calm down, <sighs> breathe, 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 now it's my turn to get to the TSA agent again, now mind you, I was running with two carry-on bags and holding my pants up, because I don't wear a belt or sneakers to the, to, to the airport, just makes it easier to go through TSA, right honey, so I'm going through, my ID work, I put my shit on the conveyor belt, I go like this through that little fucking scanner, and my pants fell right down to my ankles, honey, right down to my ankles, and I'm wearing my flamingo manties, my flamingo undies, and I'm sitting there, she's like, stay still, I'm like, son of a bitch,